This is one of the six mark questions now, and that in physics they often give you data and you need to do some calculations with that or make some comparisons with that. Uh, now this has the specific heat capacity here, so the first thing you should probably do is go ahead and get the equation from the front, which is that energy equals mass times specific heat capacity times temperature change. And you're going to, you know, to get full marks in this, you're going to need to do some calculations, but we'll come back to that in a second. Um, the question asks you, basically, they both boil up at the same time. They both boil at the same time. And that surprised this person because she thought that actually the one with the, the, the least mass would be... Um, would boil more rapidly. Okay, so for a level one answer, and most people did, they said, well, actually, this is the power of the kettle. Both powers are the same. And you need quality of written communication, so you need good grammar. Both powers are the same, uh, so they heat the water in the same time. So. And that's true up to a point, but I want you to really understand that the kettle, the power of the kettle is doing two things. Here's my kettle, beautiful drawing. The power, the heating element, is going to heat up the water, and that energy transfer to that is going to be the useful energy. And also, however, there's going to be the heating of the kettle itself, the actual material of the kettle, and that's going to be like waste energy in terms of uh, heating up the water. So, you know, the time it takes to heat up the water is actually the time it takes to heat up the water and the kettle. So the mass of the kettle and the specific, specific heat capacity of the kettle comes into it then, doesn't it? The um, specific heat capacity means how much energy does it store for each kilogram for each degree Celsius rise. They're both going to rise to 100 degrees Celsius, so we can ignore that. They both have this, uh, different masses but they have different specific heat capacity as well. So level two answers didn't do a calculation necessarily, but they said, well, one has higher mass, but lower specific heat capacity. And the other is the other way around, so it cancels out. Okay, in other words, one's increased, one's decreased, so the product of them ends up being the same, uh, which is true, but for level three, you have to demonstrate that. So you either have to demonstrate, well, by doing the, the two calculations, let's just do the alloy one. Uh, it starts at 20 degrees, I think. Yep, so the temperature change is 80. Four eight zero zero. Sorry, three zero 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 zero. Forty eight thousand joules. And actually, if you work through the other one, you find out that one point two times five hundred times eighty temperature change is the same. Is also forty eight thousand joules. So no wonder they both heat up at the same time. They're both heating up the same mass of water. So that's okay. One's got a higher specific heat capacity, but a lower mass. The other one's got a higher mass lower specific heat capacity, therefore both the energies used to heat the kettle, which we don't want, which takes up extra time, uh, are the same, therefore the time is the same.